Esteli is a province located in the northern part of Nicaragua. Devoted mainly to the growth of tobacco, more than 60 million handmade cigars are produced and exported to the U.S. market from this colorful province. Esteli has developed thanks to the handicraft industry of handmade cigars, which has become part of the local and cultural traditions. This industry is a source of livelihood for more than 150,000 citizens in the northern part of Nicaragua. 80% of the economy and development in the surrounding municipalities depend on this handicraft activity. La industria del tabaco ha apoyado, ha ayudado en el desarrollo del, del departamento de Estelí debido a que ya la gente tiene un empleo permanente que le ayuda en la subsistencia y esto hace una cadena de desarrollo socioeconómico que mejora las condiciones de todos los habitantes del municipio. El impacto positivo de la industria del tabaco es que genera una gran cantidad de empleo, hasta 30.000 eh, familias que pueden absorber 230 millones de córdobas anuales que significan mejores condiciones de vida para la familia. 85% of total Nicaraguan cigars exported to the U.S. are considered large cigars, but both large and small cigars are all hand manufactured. These products generate annually around $80 million, amounting for almost 10% of total Nicaraguan exports. The handmade cigar industry in Esteli employs around 35,000 workers, including tobacco farmers and accessory product makers. Most of these workers have labored on average 10 years for their companies. These workers and their families are currently provided living wages, health care, education, and their children are taken care of in schools and other child development facilities financed by the companies who make hand-rolled cigars. However, all this is at risk of disappearing if the U.S. Congress says yes to the cigar taxes recently proposed. This possibility has deprived thousands of families of their peace, not just in Nicaragua, but also in Honduras and the Dominican Republic. In short, the handicraft cigar industry would disappear and thousands would be left without any sustenance. Joya de Nicaragua is the brand name of my company and uh, we are concerned for the impact that the legislation under consideration uh, would put a tax on cigars which is a handicraft, is a handmade cigar as you could see everything is done by hands and that handmade cigars are handicraft that is that these are done by artisans these are done by men and women, but particularly in this company, 65% of the total employees, as you could see, are females. And uh, the consequence on this company would be that we will have to reduce uh, the employment that we have created, depending on how big that increase is. There is a relation for every 10% increase in price of this product to the consumer, we know that the amount of cigars that we can sell will be reduced in a similar percentage. Nuestro cultivo es cultivo artesanal, un cultivo que 100 manos diferentes están involucradas en la actividad desde que sembramos hasta que terminamos el producto totalmente finalizado. The industry is a handicraft industry that gives well-being to thousands of Nicaraguans. More than, uh, we calculate that uh, more than 190,000 uh, citizens, uh, sons and daughters of families like this, you know, depend on the life of our industry. The demand for artisan products like handmade cigars is very price sensitive because cigar smoking is more of a hobby than a habit. When faced with a tax increase of more than 3,000%, cigar smokers will simply decide to stop buying handmade cigars. This dramatic tax increase on handmade cigars will result in a decimation of the Latin American workers and families. 
In the three countries that represent most of the handmade cigars imported into the United States, the Dominican Republic, Honduras, and Nicaragua, an estimated 200,000 people will lose their jobs and their livelihood. The very existence of the handicraft cigar industry is at risk. Thousands of families would be left without any options aside from migrating to other countries and living a riskier life. While the legislation under analysis by Congress seeks to collect $5 billion annually, handicraft cigars can contribute with less than 5% to this amount. But meanwhile, the economic stability of Nicaragua, Honduras, and the Dominican Republic is being put at risk with disproportionate social costs. Let us look in the right direction. Give Central America the opportunity to prosper with fair labor. The cigar industry is a handicraft industry in which more than a hundred pair of hands participate, from the first to the final stages of the elaboration of a single cigar. Handmade cigars represent production that is competitive and meets world-class standards, creates a dexterous and hard-working labor force, strengthens an agricultural sector that is beset with challenges and provides employment for workers, mainly women, in part of our countries where there are a few alternative pursuits. Let's say no to a tax raise on hand-rolled cigars. 